Hi fellas, this is Jawad again from Gematics. Welcome to my another video tutorial. Well, today we are going to solve a problem related to volumes of gas. Let's read the question. Which of the following gas samples has the same volume as 7 gram of carbon monoxide? All volumes are measured at the same all volumes are measured at the same temperature and pressure. Well, let's see. Is it 1 gram of hydrogen? Is it 3.5 gram of nitrogen? Is it 10 gram of argon? Or is it 35.5 gram of chlorine? Well, let's see. At first, at first, let us see the key points of this question. The key points of these questions are the same volume and 7 gram of carbon monoxide. Okay. I hope that you have understood. Well, let's see. To solve these questions, we need to find the number of moles only. Okay. In order to solve this question, we need to recall the equation volume of gas is equals to number of number of moles. into molar volume molar volume okay sorry for my bad handwriting so the equation is volume is equals to number of mole this should be mole number of mole into molar volume okay uh, have you noticed that i have said molar volume not 24 dm cube typically you have learned that the molar volume of gas is 24 dm cube but that's for rtp that is room at room temperature and pressure the molar volume of gas is 24 dm cube but in this case it is not 24 dm cube because uh, the temperature that is stated is not stated here the temperature is not stated here that is a specified temperature is not stated here and also a specified pressure is not stated here it is just said that the same temperature and pressure all volumes are measured at the same temperature and pressure that's it so we will not say the molar volume of gas here is 24 dm cube okay so if we analyze this equation this is constant as we know this is constant and uh, and if we see the relationship between this volume of gas and number of moles of gas uh, we will see that volume of gas volume of gas is directly proportional to number of moles number of moles okay so since volume of gas is directly proportional to number of moles then we can say that if we find if we only find number of moles then it's okay we don't need to find a volume of gas because it is directly proportional so finding the number of moles will give give us the same volume of this one so we know the uh, mass of carbon monoxide 
so we can easily find the number of moles of carbon dioxide involved so so no need to find the number of uh, volume of this gas because since this is directly proportional so we don't need to find the volume we will just find the number of moles that's it let's make the uh, process simpler okay so if we see that uh, the number of moles of carbon monoxide then it should be 7 by 28 okay so 7 by 28 the, then the number of moles is 1 by 4 okay then this is the uh, number of moles of carbon monoxide so we, we will take this as a standard mole okay then we will take this as a standard mode then if we uh, calculate this number of moles if we calculate this number of moles okay let's uh, let us okay let us match the number of moles of each gas with this standard mode okay so the number of moles of this hydrogen gas would be 1 divided by 2 why why is it uh, why the molar, molar mass of why the molar mass of hydrogen is 2 because hy since hydrogen is diatomic so So the RMM of hydrogen gas is 2 okay so nitrogen is also in this case is diatomic and in case of argon it is monoatomic because argon is group 8 noble gas okay and chlorine is also diatomic you know because chlorine is a halogen gas okay so in case of nitrogen the number of moles should be 3.5 3.5 divided by 14 into 2 that is 28 28 so this doesn't match with this one so let us look at argon this is 10 and this is 40 so the answer comes as if we simplify this the answer is 1 by 4 okay 1 by 4 and let's look at uh, uh, let's look at as let's look at in chlorine okay in chlorine the mass is 35.5 that is molar mass sorry the actual mass is 35.5 and the molar mass is 35.5 into 2 ok so if we simplify this it comes as half so this should be 0.5 so this comes as half ok so if we analyze this these answers then we will get argon is the correct answer since this number of moles matches with this standard number of moles okay i hope that you have understood the question as well as the answer okay bye bye have a good day well this is the end of today's tutorial hope that this tutorial might help you with your exam preparations well
sorry for my bad english but feel free to point out my mistakes as well as ask questions that you have in your mind in the comment below see you in next video and don't forget to share like and comment as well as subscribe for more video see ya thank you